Vongole. 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 Vongole, bringing together some of my favorite things, as always, some smokiness coming from buttermilk, a couple of native ingredients, some beautiful shellfish, all cooked together in one pot. This is super easy, right? I've got here some celery and some onion and some garlic. This is how it starts, nice and easily. I'm using one of these Staub uh, pots that I grabbed from Maya. Cast iron, I want an even heat all the way through, and that's why these cast iron pots are fantastic. I'm gonna clean up a few things about Vongole, um, and mussels, actually. A lot of the time, you'll hear people say, once they go in the pan, if they don't open up, then they're bad. It's actually just not true. It's not true. Really? Did you know that? Yeah, no. it's not true at all. <gasps> like if they're closed, nine times out of 10, it's just because they're not quite cooked. <gasps> Bombshell. Bombshell. Um, if they're closed, that means they're really alive. Uh, not the opposite. When they die, they begin to open before you cook them. So there you go. All right, a little bit of grapeseed oil in the bottom of your pan, and then in we go with our onion and our garlic and our celery. Now, I don't want any caramelization here, so I've got a sort of low to medium heat going on, and I just want to cook the celery, the onion, and the garlic together until they go translucent. So I mentioned before I'm using buttermilk with these, and I don't know if you've... Uh, if you've been watching the YouTube channel, if you've subscribed. Butter. We made smoked butter one day, and out of the smoked butter, we had, of course, smoked buttermilk. Such a delicious thing, and the perfect ingredient for this dish. I think the addition of smoke in this recipe goes a long way to making it absolutely brilliant. Okay. So at this stage, it's starting to dry up a little bit, and so I'm just gonna add some water into the pot, and that gives us a chance just to have a little chat about some of the other things that I see people doing with vongole and pippies and mussels, weird stuff going on. I see people get like a smoking hot pan and then chucking in some mussels or vongole or pippies and adding a cup of water and then immediately putting a lid on top and then that's it. Like, have you seen that? I've seen that all the time. It's just wrong, okay? What you wanna do is start making a sauce, right? To, to, to cook your shellfish in. And as the shellfish open, they're gonna release juices, which then go into that sauce and help make it delicious. If you put them into a smoking hot pan, you're gonna do nothing but burn the juices that come out of your shellfish to the bottom of that pan, and it tastes feral. It's not nice, okay? By adding some water in here, I'm doing two things. One, I am helping the process of cooking my onion, celery, and garlic together beautifully. No color, because I don't want that caramelization. I want the pure flavor of those three things to come through in my sauce. But secondly, it's the beginning of our sauce, right? So here I've got some aniseed myrtle, some lemon myrtle, some kaffir lime leaf, and some mountain pepper. All, no, the kaffir, the kaffir lime isn't an indigenous ingredient, but the rest of them are delicious. I'm gonna put them in now. So the reason to not put them in at the beginning is I don't want them to stew. So as they begin to cook, they're gonna release the oils. The kaffir lime's gonna give a little citrusy vibe. Woo! Okay, now, touch of seasoning. Now is the time where we add our vongole. So they go into the pan. I'm going to give them a very quick mix just to get the herbs distributed and I'm going to get the lid on it. No stress, no rocking and rolling, no burning everything. Just nice, relaxed. All that I'm missing is a glass of wine. Laws. All right, let's have a look. Whoa. So immediately you can see them opening. And that's, you know, within 30 seconds, they're already on the way. As soon as they open, you've got to get them out. They can't be in there stewing away. Otherwise, they just become chewy, 
rubbery and just not very nice. As soon as they open any more than like half a centimeter, get them out. It's a matter of just standing over it, looking after it, grab yourself a glass of wine if you want, and just pick them out as they open. Every single one of our Vongole opened, surprise, surprise. We didn't chuck any out. So now what's in there is uh, onions, the garlic, all of those beautiful spices, the celery, and the juices, most importantly, from inside the Vongole. As I picked the Vongole out, some of those juices have ended up in here. So just pour out any remaining juices back into the pot. And we're gonna reduce this down and it will form the base of our sauce, ready to put the buttermilk in. Having a heavy cast iron pan, brilliant for reducing. Okay, so what I wanna do is just pick out the spices now, because we don't want them actually in the sauce themselves. What I wanna do is have that sauce reduced all the way down. They call it a glacé. So it basically reduces down until it's sort of almost not there because then it is at its, it's at its strongest and I don't want to dilute the thickness of the buttermilk. The buttermilk, remember, is smoky, it's delicious, and it's quite thick by nature, buttermilk. And I want to keep that because that coating all of our vongole is going to be absolutely perfect. If they haven't reduced this enough, you're going to end up with a watery pot of, of, uh, of shellfish, which, you know, it's not great. So. Now that this is almost reduced down, we're just gonna squeeze in half a lemon. White soy. It's your friend. It's a liquid salt, essentially, but it's gonna bring the umami. There's already a huge amount of umami going on in here. One of the other things I've got here is a green oil. It's made with lemon thyme. Loz, you can't smell this, but it is. So there's thyme which everyone knows, right? Not the thyme, but thyme, the herb. And then there's lemon thyme. Lemon thyme is, it is what it says in the packet, right? It's thyme that tastes lemony. But the lemon flavors along with the kaffir lime, the lemon myrtle, the aniseed myrtle, and the mountain pepper, the lemon thyme plays in with those, particularly the kaffir lime, and it gives you this sort of multi-layered citrus thing going on. Fresh lemon juice, lemon myrtle, and lemon thyme oil, absolutely delicious. The other thing that's gonna happen, of course, is that this bright green oil is gonna be such a contrast with our smoked buttermilk, which is pure white and gorgeous. All right, have a look in here, Rob. You see that? The sauce is pretty much almost reduced now. So now we're gonna add in our buttermilk. Now, I don't want to boil this. I just want to reheat it. And we're going to put our vongole back in and they're just gently going to heat up. Get your spatula in there and just work your vongole around so they're all getting coated in that buttermilk. You need to make this. You need to make it. If you haven't made any other one, make this one. It's so good. So I'm just going to do a little sneaky. I'm smiling because it's so delicious. The smokiness of the buttermilk, that, essentially that's what it is. A thyme oil, be generous, it's delicious. I just wanna now just move them around a little bit. All that sauce at the back, can see it? It's split out. I'm not putting that on a plate. This pan is beautiful, so I'm just gonna serve it in the pan, quite simply. And look at this. Toast on the side. How easy was that? It's delicious, it's simple. Come on, I, I just wanna eat it. Can we cut? Can we cut? Are you gonna share it? No, I think I can eat it. Can I? I know you can. 